Yo, this your boy Bama once again, man. Ugh. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas. Hey, check this out, man. Been a lot going on, especially last night. The NBA draft was last night, but the first round was. I see old LeBron couldn't use his power and influence to get his son drafted in the first round. It didn't happen. Bronny James, LeBron James Jr., did not get drafted in the first round last night. Oh, and I had niggas from here to Timbuktu talk about LeBron's son, Bronny going. Some, you yeah, had some dude saying number one, top five, top ten. He going in the late first round. He, he has to because that's his dad. LeBron's his dad. All that bullshit. Look what happened. Now it's a possibility. Yeah. He, he he might go in the second round, bro, but it's a possibility that motherfucker might not get drafted, but I think he's going to get drafted by somebody. It seemed like LeBron was mad because his son didn't get drafted. Like, bro, your son is ass. The only reason we even talking about him because that's your son, nigga. Ain't for real, nigga. Hmm. Yo, and another thing, just to let y'all know, going live Friday night, uh, it's going to be at its regular regular schedule programming because, you know, I've been going live at like 9, 9.40. Now I'm about to get back on the late night tip, like 10.30, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. You know, them nightcap streams, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go back and do that again. Um, just come through, kick it. Kick it how we kick it, man. You want some funk? You want some drama? You want some beef? You want some sports, entertainment, and music? Bama Vision TV is the place for you, man. I'm just trying to tell you, man. I, I already know. I ain't got the biggest platform, but I got the, I got the, all I need is a few people, man. And that's what I've been doing. Hey, that just, you know, the people that's still rocking with you. They loyal, man. All you need is a loyal following, man. No, not a loyal following. Loyal supporters. Because I don't like to use that following shit. That following shit, it sounds like some fan shit. I ain't got fans. I got supporters, man. I'm riding with them till the wheels fall off. As long as I breathe in oxygen and, my blue, and the blood is blue in my veins, I'm still going to do this shit. Ain't nothing stopping me. Uh... We got a, uh, last weekend was crazy. As y'all see, like, that clip I put up the other day, that was crazy. It was crazy, bro. It just is what it is, man. Uh, damn. But you never know what you expect. That's why some people, y'all got to come tune in. That's why I clip it, because I know a lot of people miss out on the live. So y'all just come through, five, it's whatever, man. Probably gonna do it around 10, 10 30. You know, people, you know, niggas like to come late because they on that CP time. But yeah, man, Bronny James, not a first round pick, like I said. But yo, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all stay up, stay tuned. And another thing, number one, before I leave up out of here, two things, man, go get some chili. Go get some money on. Go get some funds. Go whatever you want to call the dinero, the money. Go get it, man. Because every day is a day we can't get back. And every day sitting on your ass is a wasted day. You feel me? Um, go get the money on. Take care of your people. Take care of your motherfucking self first. Then take care of your people. Um, hey, there's no excuse not to be getting no money on out here, man. You feel me? Take it, handle your candle. And number two, hey, my channel is not for the weak hearted, man. My channel is not for the weak hearted. My show is not for the weak hearted. Because if you got thin skin, you're going to get ran up off the panel. If, you, if you're weak and sensitive, you're going to crawl into a little ball in the fetal position like a roly poly. You feel me? But hey, the ones that still around, they soldiers, man, because they was able to take it. Cause that's all it is, man. Verbal, uh, uh, verbal warfare, man. You get sometimes you get cooked, sometimes you you do the cooking. But one thing it is, you live to cook another day, nigga. And all these niggas talking about 
they want to fight and stuff like bruh how you gonna slap somebody through your phone or through your computer that's crazy that's why you have to be witty with your words you have to be trolling you have to be witty you have to be clever man and you will survive but hey only the survival of the fittest on my channel so i appreciate the people that do still come by still watch still be coming but i'm gonna holler at y'all tomorrow around 10 10 30 peace